Security. My name is George Jones. I'm the Assistant Dining Services Manager at Eagles Trace. I enjoy it. It's, it's, an, it's a challenge in itself. The kids, uh, the students are great. Um, so it's a chance for me to develop my management style and the skills and also develop them and help them move forward in their development. This year we're currently serving 127 students in all of our work-based learning programs. And since 2011, we now have 37 students that have obtained and maintained employment. We have teachers that are actually that go to the four high school campuses and offer work-based learning on the campus, typically ninth and 10th grade. In 11th grade, we also have another program where we start the students that are ready in the community for training at job sites. We've had a couple of districts come visit our program and, and again, one of the biggest things that I tell them that is, is if you can find a location for your work-based learning program and centralize it, then your, your training, your delivery of services is going to be so much better. Other districts, some have a program similar to this, but a lot of districts just keep the students on their high school campuses after the child's turn 18 20, and they try and replicate job sites um, and go off to job sites, but it's not a centralized program like this one. And typically, the students learn here the skills that they would need um, to obtain and then maintain employment. So each day when the kids arrive, um, we fill out our personal information, um, we talk about our day, we put on our uniforms, you know, do whatever it is we need to do to get ready to go to work. Um, and then the, the students go out to different job sites twice a day, so they're out again. They're out from 9 to 11 and then again from 12 to 2. One of, one of our roles as a job coach is to go to the site and see what needs to be done and familiarize yourself with the student and their abilities and um, find the best fit for that student and help them achieve. You expose them to what needs to be done and explain it to them and be there to, you know, to offer support. Sometimes we have to work side by side to, to maintain pace and then, you know, the lead by example, teach by example. Every child, even though they may be in a program, it still has to be an individualized education plan. And for some of our students, when we go out to a job site, we may be involving a vision specialist, an auditory specialist. We could need our physical therapist, our occupational therapist, our speech therapist for the communication piece. We are all on the same team. There's a lot of things that contribute to success um, here. Uh, quality training um, from our job coaches and myself, business partners, um, that allow us to go into their businesses and um, practice and develop skill sets. And then also the parents being on board and um, wanting to see their student um, be a contributing member of their community. Children are coming to a new environment. They've finished with that chapter in their life and now they're moving on to the workforce. So this training for them is just very, very, very great. About three years ago, I got a student um, employed and um, his dad, big guy, you know, 6'3", 260. And um, the company called and said, you know, the student's gonna get a, their first paycheck. Would you like to come out and be here when we give it to them? So um, I jumped in my car, of course, went out there and um, was there. And I just happened to see dad shopping in the store and I grabbed him and we went to the back and um, his son got his first paycheck and you know, the business made a, a big deal about it. And I just kind of looked over and this big man who I've known for years is just sobbing and just, um, just never really thought the day would come that his son would be able to stand on his own two feet and have it work. So yeah, don't use that please. People have a chance to obtain uh, employment um, and, and we, um, we develop them. Uh, we invest in them, letting them feel good about themselves, um, a sense of pride, a sense of ownership, a sense of responsibility. There's a lot of collaboration that goes on between our teachers, our students, our community members, and our families. They work very closely together to transition those students into a job, and they've been very successful at that. It's just, it's rewarding. It's very rewarding. 